Welcome to Learn to Retire Video Tutorial 5. Today I'll be introducing two new vowels, one new symbol, and two consonants, and one vowel combination. Okay, so our first our first new consonant today is called Law Ling. This one here, I'll get Bond to say that for you. <coughs> Law Ling. Law Ling. Law Ling. That means monkey in Thai, and as an initial consonant, it makes an L sound, and as a final consonant, it makes an N sound. The next one is Wawan. 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 You probably hear the difference in Pom's tones compared to mine, which is why I like to have a, a Thai assistant to do these, so you get the right pronunciation. Wawam means ring, as in wedding ring. On to the two new vowels. This one is Sara A, and this one is Sara E. Sara E, Sara E, Sara E, Sara E, Sara E, Sara E. With all the vowels we've done so far, they're used on their own. And they're also used in vowel combinations. Um, so far, we've just done vowels on their own. Today, I'm going to introduce the first combination. So it'd be a lot easier to actually take some sample words and give you some, some real examples. So here, here is the, the first word. Okay, so we've got the the, the sara a and the sara a vowels are written before the consonants, and in this form it just makes an a sound, as in hey or say or day. And we have the the w consonant, so it's like a, a way. First syllable is a way, and then the the l consonant from today, and the long r from a previous tutorial, like a, a la. So put them together and we will get we la, we la, we la. And that is the, the Thai word for time. And get on to the next, next word. I'm doing my best to use consonants and vowels that we've done already. But occasionally, when I need to give you an example, I need to use a consonant that we haven't yet done. Uh, I'll try to avoid doing it, but sometimes it's necessary. And this one here, which we haven't yet done, is, is a T consonant. Okay, so we have a T consonant. Then we have the short A that we've already done. So it's like a TA. And then we have the SARA A and the LAW LING, which is like a LAY. So I'll get Pom to say that for you. And that is the, the Thai word for sea. Next word. With this word, I'm going to introduce the, the symbol that I, that I just mentioned. Um, one of my absolute favourite authors on the subject of learning to read Thai is David Smith. And David Smith calls this the, the vowel shortening symbol. We haven't done any Thai numerals yet, but it's the same as a, an, an eight in Thai. And the Thai word is something like mai taku. Mai taku. Mai taku. Mai taku. So when you, when you see these two used together, it's just like an, an English E. So what we, what we have is the, the Y consonant that we've done already here. Then these two make an E. And this is the N consonant that we've done already. So it just says Yen. Yen, yen, yen. And that's the Thai word for cold. Now, I, I have mentioned that 
written Thai is a lot more consistent than English, but but sometimes there are some inconsistencies. And with this sara a, sometimes it makes an a sound. If it's used with this symbol, it makes an an e sound. But there are times when it's not when this symbol is not there and it's still an e. So I'll get Pom to to give you an example. You very you very often see English words written in Thai. They it's like a like a loan word. And this word is actually me, menu, as in a food menu. So they use the sara a. But it makes an e sound, so it's it's met rather than may, and we haven't done this vowel yet, but it's it's an, a long o sound, so it's met nu. Now now we'll go in, to do another word, and I, and I'll demonstrate the the inconsistency. We've done all, we've done all the characters in this word apart from one. Um, this this is one of the S consonants that we haven't done yet. But what we have here is the the M consonant and the Sara A. So that's a May. May. This is a, an S consonant and a long R. Sa. And here's the Y and the N consonants. And as I mentioned before. When you don't see a vowel, you have to like insert an O to get yon. So I'll get Pom to say that for you. Me sa yun. Me sa yun. Me sa yun. And that is the Thai word for the month of April. And what you should have heard was that the the first syllable is a, a may here, but the same. Two characters are using menu, and they make a met sound. So it's this this sara a can make an a or an e sound. I'll give you one more word to demonstrate that. I'll get Pom to say it for you. Lin. Len, Len. That's the Thai word to play, and really because it's got the the sara a, and there's no mitaku symbol, really that the sound should be lane, as in like a small road, but it's not. It's len. So so this vowel does have a, a different sound. On to the next new vowel today, and it's um, two of the previous vowels written together, and it's called sara e. Now I've been doing this for a long time, and with the, the transliteration system, as you as you probably realised from previous tutorials, I do not like at all. And there's a lot of evidence that um, the people who wrote it. Were German speakers because a lot of things about translation, transliteration, make sense to German speakers, but not not to English speakers like myself. So when when I, as an English speaker, when I hear this vowel, I hear air. But what you'll find with transliteration is that it's normally written as a e. Now, to an English speaker, a e doesn't really mean much, but it does to a German speaker, because the the sound is like an umlaut a, and the alternative way to write umlaut umlaut a is a e. So it makes sense to German speakers, but not to English speakers. So it really it makes an an air sound. So I'll get Pom to write the first example word for you.
Again, it's written, the, the vowel is written be, before the consonant. So here we have the, the sara air vowel, then the gorgai from the first tutorial, and a tone mark. Ge, ge, ge. And that's the, the word for old, as in people. Thais have a, a different word for, for old things. It's just, it's just related to people. Now if we just change one, one consonant. Here we have the, the sara air vowel and the, the M consonant that we did previously. Me. 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 Okay, that, that's the Thai word for mother, which you'll, you'll hear a lot in Thailand. And on to the, the next example. So again, we, we've done this consonant already. This is the, the raw R consonant. Re. 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 And that word means mineral. Now, when Thais transliterate English into Thai, they normally use this word, sorry, they normally use this vowel for A. But it's not, it's not an A sound, it's an air sound. So, for example, if, um, if Thais transliterated cat into, into Thai, they would do the they would use the the sara air and a k consonant and probably a a t, t consonant and it would sound more like cat cat. Um, I was quite amused a few years ago to see a a poster for the latest Harry Harry Potter movie. And they're transliterated Harry on the on the poster. And because this vowel makes an air sound, the actual sound is more like hairy. So he became Harry Potter instead of Harry Potter. I'll get Pom to say that for you. Harry, Harry, Harry. It's kind of an A, but there's, there's definitely an, an air in there. Let's go on to one of the new consonants today, and it's the, the war wan that makes a, a W sound. As an initial consonant, it's quite straightforward, but this one's quite important as a, a final consonant. So I'll just give you a few examples as a, a final consonant. Just hit pom through them. Um, to write the first example for you. Okay, the it might be a bit confusing with the, the order of consonants and vowels in ties because vowels aren't always written after the first consonant. So this is the initial this is the initial consonant, then the vowel, then the final consonant. So without the, without the final consonant, we have an initial M and then the air, so it's something like mare. But with the, final w, with the final W consonant, it makes quite a different sound. Meow. 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 And that is the, the Thai word for cat. Now go on to the, go on to the next one. This is an N consonant that we've done previously. The short I vowel written above, and then the, the W consonant written as a final consonant. New. 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 And that is the Thai word for finger, and it's also the, the word they use for an inch, one inch as a, as a um, unit of measurement. And just um, one more, which is similar to the first example. OK, 
Okay, so Sara Air again. Gore Guy from the first tutorial with, with a tone mark and the W final final consonant. Gail. 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 And that's the, the Thai word for drinking glass. Now on to the second new consonant today, the the law ling, the, the L, the L consonant. So Pom will write the, the first example. Okay, we have the law ling initial consonant, the short it vowel with a tone mark, and the final consonant is the, the N that we did previously. Lin. Lin, Lin, and that's the, the Thai word for tongue. And this um, L consonant is also used in uh, consonant clusters, quite quite commonly. So we'll do our first consonant cluster. So the the Gorgai and the, the Law Ling make a, a consonant cluster, like a, a GL in in English. And here we have the uh, Sara I vowel that we did previously and, and a tone mark. So I'll get Pom to say that. Glay. 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 Right, you hear a, a falling tone when she says that, and it means near. Now, to demonstrate the, the Thai sense of humour, I'll get Pom to write the, the Thai word for far. Now, as you, as you should have remembered, these two I consonants are exactly the same. And here we have the Gorgai and Law Ling. So the, the Thai word for near and the Thai word for far have exactly the same basic sound, apart, but apart from the tone being different. So it's um, when, when you're trying to say, you know, something's near or far, if you get the tone wrong, you say the opposite meaning. Glay, 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 glay. As I said previously, the getting the tones right is, is the most um, difficult aspect of Thai. Now on to another example word. Okay, again you will notice the, the, the consonant cluster, the Gorgai and the Law Ling, so it's like a GL sound. Then the short it vowel written above. Oh, uh, coincidentally, when, the, um, when there's a consonant cluster, the, if the vowel is written above, it's written above the second consonant in the consonant cluster. And then we have uh, an N final consonant clean 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 okay so it's, it's like g-l-i-n in english and it's the the thai word for smell now this this law ling consonant as a final consonant has an n sound so i'll, I'll get pom to to write an, to write another word just to we haven't we haven't done this one of these consonants yet, but I just want to use this as an example. Okay, so this 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 consonant has a, a B sound, so, and then there's the short the short I vowel and the the L final consonant. Bin, bin, bin. It's actually the English word bill, B-I-L, but because law ling has an, an N sound as a final consonant, it becomes bin in Thai. The Sara A 
vowel is used on its own, but it's also used in lots and lots of vowel combinations. So whenever you see this, you need to look a little bit to the right to see if there's any other vowels that it's used in combination with. And today we're going to do our first, our first vowel combination. Okay, so with this, sorry, with this vowel combination, it's, it surrounds the consonant. So here you'll have a consonant or a consonant cluster, and you'll have sara a at the front and sara a at the back. And when when these two vowels are used in a vowel combination, it makes an an ow sound. So I'll I'll get pom to um to do a few examples for you. So first we'll 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 write the M consonant in between that vowel combination. Mau, mau, mau. And that's the the Thai word for drunk. I'm not sure how confusing this is to new learners when you when you see a consonant, but then you see the vowel in different places. You know, it might be before the consonant after the consonant, above the consonant, below the consonant, and in this case, the, the, the vowel combination surrounds the consonant. But it's something you, you get used to fairly quickly. So I'll get Pom to write another word using the same vowel combination. Okay, so we have the, the ow vowel combination, and in the middle we've got the, the gorgai, from the first tutorial and a tone mark. Gao, gao, gao. This is the the Thai word for old, as in things. So before we we ha we had the word ge. I get Pom say that for you. Ge, ge, ge. That's the that's the Thai word old for people, and this is the Thai word old for things. Now, if we just change the the tone mark, and look okay, at Pom say that again. Gao, gao, gao. And that's the the Thai word for nine, the number nine. On to the next word. Okay, so here, here is the, the vowel combination, the owl sound. And here, you should remember, it's one of the, the K consonants. Kau, kau, kau. And that's the Thai pronoun for he, she, or they. If we just add a tone mark to this word to change the tone... Kau, kau, kau. And that's the Thai word uh, to enter the verb. Another word. Here's the ow vowel combination again. And you should recognize this raw rua, the r consonant. Rau, rau, rau. That's the Thai word for us. Now, in a previous tutorial, I mentioned the the silent consonant. Um, because of the way that Thai is written, we we have to write a consonant. But if if the word starts with a vowel sound, we we don't want a consonant sound. So if we in that case, we will just write the silent consonant. Okay, so this, this is a silent consonant. That has no sounds. So this word just has the owl vowel sound. Ow, ow, ow. And that's the Thai word to, to want. 
If you're getting pestered by people in Thailand who keep trying to sell you things, you might tell them that you, you don't want something. So what you can do, you can, you can just prefix ow with my, which, you, which is like not or, or don't, don't want, and that, that will tell them that you don't want something. ไม่เอาไม่เอาไม่เอา On a previous tutorial, I talked about I sounds, and I explained how there are long and short. It's like a short I sound and a, a long I sound. We did that already, and I mentioned how the transliteration system. Doesn't discriminate between short and long. It just it just it just gives a I for everything, and the same thing exists for owl sounds. So the ones we've just done are, are fairly short, but there's a longer owl sound, which is made up of the the s a r a a the long a ah consonant that we did previously, and the the w a w a n consonant that we did today. So I'll get Pom to write a few examples, and, and if you listen to her pronunciation, you'll hear that the the sound is slightly longer. Okay, so here we have the a K consonant, and then the the longer o w sound. ข้าวข้าวข้าว and that's the Thai word for for rice, which is the, the main staple in Thailand, and you will hear an awful lot. Now onto another word. This one uses the g o r g a i initial consonant and the longer o w sound. ก้าว Gao, gao, and that's the the Thai word for glue. And the next word, but this is this is the Y consonant that we've done before, and the the longer o w sound. Yao, 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 and also the next word. This is the r a r a r consonant and the longer o w sound. r a w r a w r a w and that means um, about, around, approximately. Getting back to the transliteration system, as I said, it doesn't differentiate between long and short sounds. So every every o w sound, whether it's long or short. The transliteration is just a o, and the transliteration system it makes all the it all the k consonants it calls k h, and the g o r g a i it call it transliterates into just k. So you might have like hard g sounds and long and short vowels. And it transliterates them all the same, so you, you always get just like a K or a KH and an AO. So it's another reason why I don't like transliteration. I'll, I think I'll leave, leave it at that today. Um, what I'm, what I'm most concerned about with these tutorials is making them too long and too difficult. I started off with the premise that this is not too difficult, and anyone can learn. So if I if I do too much and someone says this is too difficult, I can't follow it. Then I I, I failed. So I'm deliberately not making these too long or too difficult. There's there's more that I can do with the vowels and consonants that we've introduced already, but I'm going to save that for another tutorial. Um, as I said in another video that I I made previously, not not a tutorial. I'm I'm not. 
all that enamored with YouTube as a teaching medium. Because when I don't have students in the room, when I can't see people's faces, I, I can't get feedback. I, I don't know if people fully understand. So if you, if you don't understand, if I haven't made something clear, please let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll try to make it clearer in another video. But I, I'm relying on feedback from the people who are watching these videos because I, otherwise I'm not going to get any. Okay, so I'll see you again soon in tutorial six.